birthday. That's really good. But then the third person enters the room. This is the three. And you all see a pattern to this? Oh, it's a factorial. And I have to keep doing this, but for how many people did I say? Two, two people share a birthday. It was two people I have to mention out of, I looked in the room and we got, including me, 23 people. So two people out of 23 total people. Cool? So I'm going to have to keep multiplying this. That was from the first person, second person, third person. But I'm going to have to keep doing this. So I'll put dot, dot, dot until I get to, if you're curious, what would be the 23rd person? That would be, you got a calculator handy. What's 365? I want you to subtract 23, but then I want you to add one to that. So that would be what? 340, but then add a 1. 343. And I want to tell you why. Why would you add a 1 to that? So I get 343. The reason is, because I would just think about this. If I just did three people, what's 365 minus 3? 3? 362. Look what the third person had. So it was one more than that? Okay. So I had to do, for this one, it would be that minus that. Well, to get this, there's an easy way to do the denominator on the calculator. Isn't that 23, 365s multiplied together? Mm -hmm. But I want to give you a cool button on the calculator that does the numerator. What would do all this numerator math right here fast on the calculator? There's a button called NPR, and I'm going to hit that. I'm just going to hit 365 NPR 23. It's called a permutation button. And I'm going to do it right now. So hit the light and check out the odds. You're going to love this, though. This is cool. Ready? Clear. One. Clear. One minus. All right, I'm going to type 365. I'm going to hit the math button. I'm going to arrow over to PRB. Everyone see PRB? And then number two. And then I'm going to type that 23. Now I have to divide out what? So that's 365 NPR 22. It means 3D, that's a permutation formula. And I divide out 365 raised to the 23. Okay. Look at the odds. This is why they call it a paradox. Can you believe this? Or what's the odds that at least two people right now in this room share? I don't know anybody's birthdays. 51%. Except for, uh, I know McGarvey's, but she's not in there. Oh, and I don't know anybody's birthdays. So as you're about to pack up, can we go around the room, say birthdays, see if, what's the odds this happens? 51%. There's a pretty good chance, like 50 50 chance, two people want to share the birthday as you pack up. I'll go around. If you don't want to tell everyone your birthday, would you just make up a day like, you know, you know September 8th or something like that? Right? I'm going to go first. Come on, I'm hoping this happens. We got a 50 50 chance. I'm first. April 7th. That's oh, it had to be you, though. All right. Well, we'll keep going. Might still have an arc. July 17th. July 17th? Yeah. November 24th. October 13th. March 20th. Come on, it's going to happen. June 30th. Your birthday's coming. June 30th. December 4th. December 4th. December 6th. Ah! December 6th. Ah! January 7th. January 7th? November the 12th. August 21st. Wait, what are you? June 7th. June 7th and April 18th? Yeah, January 11th. October 23rd. October 23rd. August 31st. August 31st. Uh oh. We got what? Some remaining. Here we go. January 20th. October 7th. April 18th. Two April 18th. That's it! Yes! Yes, it happened! No, we got right at the end! April 18th! Woohoo! October 1st? February 3rd. It happened! Yes! Oh, I love it. We have a 50 50 chance, right?